fire that damaged seven buildings on the city's south side. Eric Rung is in the Fuller Park neighborhood with more. Eric. Good morning. Some good news out here is that there are no reports of any injuries in this fire that happened here this morning, but firefighters still out here on the scene. Uh, more good news here is it appears that the fire is all out. They're still pouring water into some of the buildings out here, but now that the sun has come up, you can really see the severe damage that was done to at least two of the buildings that caught fire here early this morning. You can see right through them. The roofs have collapsed. There were seven total buildings involved in this fire, the four in front and then three coach houses in back. One of those, we're told, also collapsed. Firefighters gave us an update on this fire a short time ago. When they pulled up on the scene, we had, we had four buildings going in front, four two and a half story frames, three coaches house, house in the back. We had quite a bit of fire going when we, when we got on the scene. We've had no rain, everything's dry. And once the exposure gets going, do we get water on there? It's kind of hard to control. Once we get water on the exposure, we'll work our way from the outside in. Now, firefighters say smoke detectors were working in all of the buildings that were occupied. Neighbors tell us the fire started in an abandoned building and spread from there. Firefighters say they are still investigating exactly what happened here on 49th and South Princeton. And they are continuing their search right now for possibly any injuries, but right now they are not aware of anyone missing from any of the homes. Now, while it doesn't appear anybody was hurt, several pets needed help and paramedics supplied oxygen to several puppies. The owner told me that he didn't think all of his puppies made it out, but he's still looking for them at this time. We did talk to a woman who was asleep when the fire started. Like, I smell like uh, a charred smell, so I, was, I woke up, I woke up my siblings and I left in the back and it was all orange, like you could see all the fire and then that's when I woke everybody up from upstairs, downstairs, and then that's when I told my sister to call 911. Now, Chicago Fire Department tells us that at least eight people will have to find some place else to stay. As you can see, that damage to these structures out here, very severe to at least two of them. And in one of the coach houses in back also collapsed. Uh, we are also told that the city's buildings department is going to be out here later on to see if these buildings are going to have to come down and likely at least two of them will just looking at the damage out here uh, this morning. Uh, we will, of course, have more for you a little later on. For now, we are live in Fuller Park. I'm Eric Brown, WGN News.